Good morning everybody, it's the 20th of October, I hope everyone is doing well. Hello to all my regular listeners and hi to anybody new who has just dropped by for a quick little chat on their way to work or with their second cup of tea or coffee. <laughs> Thank you for all your support guys, it means a lot to me and so, so big, big thank yous to all of you for your feedback recently. Um, I have had some lovely, lovely messages recently and just feedback, just, it's almost just telling me that what I'm doing is the right thing and I'm on the right track. And this is sort of part of the subject that I want to talk about today to sort of give some motivation to you all or, you know, as a little pep talk really, just to keep you going through these transitional times. Now, if any of you enjoyed this chat um, and you're getting something from my readings, please, and, and you'd like to, you'd like more information, then please go to my website, www.sarahperrypsychic.co.uk. There is an introductory offer for anybody who's never had a reading before with me uh, for £27 for half an hour. So, if you'd like to make use of that, then do feel free to click on the button and make an appointment with me. It is a telephone or Skype appointment. Uh, to save time, if you want to, you know, if you want to make an appointment with me, then when you send payment or if you want to contact my, me by email, if I haven't contact, contacted you by then, um, give me some times and ideas of when you would like to have a reading or your time zone particularly because then I can get to my diary quicker and sort things out because often it's like a two-way thing we're going backwards and forwards you know what, what's your time zone what times are you free because then you know I could say I'm free at some point but it could be in the middle of the night for some of you guys most of the listeners or most of the people I read for are actually overseas um, my majority of uh, but I I'm an early night person because I get up early. So that's just something for um, you to take on board. Maybe I should write a whole thing about it on my website. No, it would just be boring, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> so I hope you're all doing well. I've, I've been doing, as, as some of you know who've been listening to me, you know that this is a bit hit and miss at the moment and I'm just literally going with what I feel. And this morning I woke up and thought, right, I'm gonna vlog. So I feel I'm being told when and when not to do something. Yesterday I felt really, really drained and tired again um, and just needed to just tread carefully. And the plan was originally, my um, basic idea of a plan was to do some other work on the phone lines and I even dismissed that because I realised I could feel that sense of weird mental panic starting to hit in again and questioning, you know? When I get like that, then the cards are out, the cubes are out, you know, and I'm like, well, come on then. And I've got to admit, I woke up this stuff out a bit annoyed and I had a bit of a go at the sky really. And I was like, come on, had enough now. And it was because I was tired, okay? It's simple as that. And I want you guys to realise that when you are overtired at the moment, if you're doing too much or you're struggling too much, you're trying to force things because the energy's faster now, so you're going to be wanting to push things forward, that that is when you'll start questioning more. Now, the reason I wanted to talk today was because I sort of came up with this... Um, idea or you know way to describe what's going on now because everyone I speak to is seems to be in this sort of weird limbo and I think I spoke about it the last time when I was on here and the uh, the way that I would describe it and this is how it seems to me it's like when you know in the middle of the night if you wake up you've gone to bed and all the street lights are on and there's still activity outside still people walking around there's still cars but there's that point in the night where it's like almost like deathly silent and if you were to go outside there'd be no street lights be nothing it's almost like the world has just gone to sleep and that is the way it feels at the moment it's not that nobody's listening to you it's because when Mercury's retrograde and, and sometimes, before, I think during the year before, it felt like nobody was actually on board and no one could hear you and you were shouting everything. This just feels like 
there isn't anything you can do because you know in the middle of the night if you go out you can't just suddenly you know go and knock on your work if you start at nine o'clock and you know or you work in a shop or something doesn't open till 10 you can't just go in and say hey can I just start work now or well, you could if you owned it but you get my meaning it's like you sort of need to wait and there's that sense isn't it when you wake up in the night you go I can't get back to sleep I can't get back to sleep and there's just like nothing and the only thing you can do is either just lay there going oh, or get a book or go downstairs start watching tv but you don't really want to at that point because you're still tired and you know that if you get up now you're going to feel tired about three hours later so it's a really bizarre limbo time of the night and if you know you find you're unlucky enough to wake up at that point at night it is just the worst I don't mind if I wake up at four in the morning because I know I've only got an hour till my husband wakes up and it's not quite so bad and four o'clock start but if it's like one o'clock in the morning and I've gone to bed at nine and then I really can't go to bed then and I'm sort of just like lying there for another three hours then you know that's half the night gone for me but there is that sense isn't there if you wake up I mean I would say this is more like two or three in the morning you know and you you go out and it's just dark it's just a weird zone and the sky looks different as well it's almost sometimes when you go out or you, you know you look outside at that point it's almost like the, the sky's sort of half light and half dark at the same time you know what I mean? So at this point, there isn't really anything you can do, but do what you can. So it's either get up and wander around, make a cup of tea, you know, put the TV on low, listen to some music, get on with some paperwork, or just lay there, meditate. I don't know, you know. I mean, if you've got kids, you've got house for, you've got to be quiet as well. So there isn't really an awful lot to be done. And when you're like that, you can often be almost too tired to actually get anything going anyway. Because you actually want to sleep, but you're unable to. So this is what this feels like. It's that sense that I've woken up too early, everything's gone to sleep, and I'm not, I haven't really quite got the energy to really get into anything too deep, but I'm just in a bit of a lull, you know? It's like you're in a dream world, you've woken up in your dream, you're walking around going, oh, you know and you woke up, or you know, another thing is you wake up one day and the world's just, everyone's disappeared. It's just bizarre. And again, there isn't anything you can do. There's no message left, there's like, you know, there's no clues. So what do you do? Like you say, well you can find something to do or you can just lay there. So the, the message is really, and you know, I've said to a lot of people, because I've sort of said, you know, I, this isn't happening. I feel like I'm in a fuzz, you know, it's really confusing. I haven't got all the answers. And really, that is the truth. There isn't all the answers. Something is missing, but it's not necessarily you that has to find it. Or you have to go out and looking for it. Or is it that you're just looking in the wrong place? Because from where I'm seeing it, this is about sitting with yourself. Now, because Jupiter's gone into Scorpio, it's bringing up all the emotions. It's calling people to go deep, go inward, go inside yourself. Check out all that that's going on. Check out all that muck and grime inside. You know what I mean? Have a really good clear out and sort it all out. It's a bit like going and clearing out the fridge after 30 years and you, you know, you've never touched it. <laughs> you've got to get to those you know you have a really good spring clean and then you start going into all the little corners this is what this is like if there's nothing going on and there's nothing for you to do then do what you can so maybe do the things that you haven't done for a while and some of the conversations that I've had over the last couple of days have been very much which it, it's about go go to the heart go to the heart of the matter go deep to your heart because all of the message this year has been about doing what you love, being, loving yourself, feeling fulfilled and just stepping around sort of thinking, well, I'm still not fulfilled. I'm still not fulfilled. Or why are you not doing, why are you not looking for what you will fulfill you then? You know, instead of searching for someone else to give you the answers and asking people, well, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's like, it's like everyone's, you know, another vis uh, way to describe this is everyone's just sort of like running around in the dark trying to reach for something. You know, but arms outstretched, reaching really far when actually it's right next to you. You know, there's a there's a rail next to you, there's a wall right next to you that you can stand, you know, you can grip hold of. It's it's not as far as you think, it's within you. Instead of looking for everyone else to help you, look for you to help you. 
Now, this new moon that's happened is all about going, you know, finding the balance in yourself and the harmony, your peace of mind. So maybe everything stops so you can find peace of mind without noise. People often look for something to distract them because they're unable to listen to their own silence because it isn't their own silence, it's of themselves or feel what they feel. So they distract themselves. We, we all do it. You know, it's like, I don't want to feel this, so I'm going to go and do something else. And then suddenly that thing's taken away from you and you, you have to deal with it. Because until you deal with it, you're not going to find the balance in yourself. Until you address your real feelings for something. Until you address how you really, really feel inside. You know, you think this has been a real stepping stone up. You know, the full moon in Aries. Me, 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 me. What do I want? Independence. All the, the planets changing. Forcing everybody forwards and taking them into action. You want to full, go forwards. You want to think about yourself. And then you're going, yes, yes, yes. You're running along this path. And suddenly the path ends. And you go, oh, now what do I do? And they go, well, actually, the answer is just in you. You know, this is the next step. You have to now address yourself. You know, you've gone so far. You've learned so much. But now you've got enough strength in you to, to actually go back. Because you can't, you know, you've ignored this long enough. And this is what I feel is going on. And this is, again, you know, Uranus being retrograde. is is you know, when that's retrograde, it, again, that is bringing things up all of a sudden it changes things you know it, it helps you view things differently it, it creates restriction where in order to get you to break out and become free this is all for everybody to become better okay so the the thing to do you know if you've done everything that you can if you're working on because a lot of people are talking about career now rather than love which is interesting because that's sort of changed even though Libra New Moon is about love and harmonious relationships and finding the balance, really. Um, you know, a lot of people are looking for this sort of, you know, it's almost like the emphasis is now coming off the career and it's coming into how you deal with other people. Um, so, But, you know, if, if your career is, if you've done enough and you've put all your feelers out and you've, you know, you've sent all the emails, you've done what you can, then do something you enjoy that you can do that's productive, that is still taking you towards what you want and it's getting it ready, you know. If there's still something you can do, then do it. If you don't feel like doing it and it makes you really unhappy and it feels like a real job, you know. So say you said, right, oh, well, you know, I'm still waiting for this call. I can't do anything until these people call me. I've got to wait on this project, right? And you're a creative person. You're sitting at home thinking, well, I've done everything now. Now what? Come on then, universe, where is it? And you think, oh, well, the only thing I could do my accounts, but oh, I don't want to do that. Well, maybe that isn't the answer to sit and do your accounts. What else could you do? What haven't you done? What haven't you been able to do while you've been doing all that other stuff? Although you've enjoyed it. Now what? Have you now come to a point where your whole life has been filled with all of that and you've forgotten about the other things? What about your family? What about maybe taking a day off, you know, going out and doing something? Or do you feel guilty about that because you've worked so hard and pushed so far forward and all you've done is focused on, you know, what you've got to get done because otherwise, you know, you're not going to bring the money in and you're not going to get things finished. You know, there's a deadline. But in doing so, you've ignored the other loves in your life. You know, maybe take a trip. You know, no one's going to, you know, it's because you've fallen into a pattern, okay? So what spirit is getting to do is to break, you know, the universe is getting to break the, the, the old pattern is almost avoiding what you need to avoid. It's about finding the balance. You know, there is give and take. You can have something for you. Okay, all work and no play, remember? It needs to be both. Otherwise, you end up too tired and then you end up starting going, and your mind's going all over the place. Now, what I've found lately is that I get very tired very quickly because I feel that the intensity's grown in what I do and you know I don't just do you know my work flows over days okay so if I take a day off the te I still tend to get readings coming through and I still have to answer messages it's not a matter of completely turning off all of the time when you work for yourself that's what has to happen um, especially where quick questions are concerned you know I don't like to leave people more than 12 hours you know Obviously, if I get one late at night, then I answer it in the morning, okay? But I wouldn't leave, you know, leave it a week. Um, so, you know, it's sort of where you can fit it in. And and the, 
but there, there needs to be the balance so so today yes i'm vlogging because i felt like i'm vlogging to vlog i'm going to go out with the doggy in a minute and then i'm going to go to the gym and then i'm going to meet a friend and then later i'm going shopping um to get some food shopping and i'm gonna spend some time at home because i've got a busy weekend i'm working all weekend so to me today's as much of a day off as i can tuesday will be another day off okay so arrange sort this out really look at what you've been doing and then realize that actually maybe the silence is you just haven't got used to having a day off maybe you just need to do nothing go do something that some people just do take for granted you know they just do nothing they enjoy it and they're the ones that can't get started be pleased you've earned a day off so a lot of what's coming is rewards as well so see what you need to do at the moment is remain the positive because when you're in this sort of like mode it can actually become very dark to the point where you become depressed and that's what you don't want to do okay you need to stay on top of it go deep emotionally bring out the emotional side address it and turn it into a positive don't dwell on it so much that you can't come back out again all right don't get depressed in yourself and the, the thing is when you when you deal with an emotion it's not about again dwelling on it and letting it absorb you so much that you can't come out it's about saying to yourself it's addressing it and not acknowledging what's going on and saying okay so why am i feeling like this what am i afraid of what what is causing this angst let's feel it let's see it but i'm in control okay so you know you're in control this is a it's a new perspective of looking at your emotion okay it's not about letting it overtake you and then you're just going i just feel awful i just feel awful i just feel awful i just feel depressed i just feel depressed i just can't find my way i just don't know what Ooh, you know and when you're just going along like that there's nothing because you're not actually helping yourself so take control today say okay this is a bit weird what can i get from it now when there's this lull this weird thing and what i find is if i wake up in the middle of the night and i'm just lying there and I can sort of go into a drifty sleep, that's the time it's really good to meditate because you're really relaxed. And you're not quite awake, you're not quite asleep. So go, and, you know, meditate, ask, you know, relax and, and ask to be shown the signs at this point. You know, just flow with it. Get in tune with the energy and sort of walk with it and, you know, be in it, be part of it. There's a battle going on today. You may find that you've got to battle for what you want. You know, if all of a sudden you decide what it is, suddenly you might find a great big block comes up. But that's your demons, okay? These are the, you know, this is like, again, the dream. You're in this weird dream of nothing and then suddenly all the demons come up. You've got to deal with them, right? But you can do this. It's almost like stop battling. Love. Love what you do enough to put it first. Think about what you love enough. What is fulfilled your whole life? You know, it doesn't have to be just your job. It isn't just one thing that will fulfill you. It's you being happy. And it will be a number of things that bring happiness to your life. All right? So when you say, what is it that I want? Well, most of us just want to be happy. It's as simple as that. But what makes you happy? That's really the question. Who makes you happy? Who Who is involved? Okay, not makes you happy, but who is involved in that happiness? Because I think if you make... If you say, this person makes me happy or this is the only thing in my life, then that that is just about them again, okay? So this is like, who is involved in the happy world that I could create? What would make that happy world? Okay, and look at it from a bigger perspective, a broader perspective, you know? Getting on with your family, maybe? Maybe that isn't something that can happen, okay? It can't happen for everybody, you know? Maybe it isn't, uh, maybe it, finding peace of mind in order to, understand your um, discord with other people around you okay let's look at it that way because <laughs> i know some of you are finding it hard with family members which i have as well so it's like find the peace of mind and love in your heart that you can understand what's going on with them and you can find happiness within you that they affect you less okay that the ones that do love you and respect you and the ones you do find happiness with that's that's an important thing okay if you've got other parts of your family like your um, husband wife or children or whatever that that would be great that you have a harmonious that would be fulfilling so really you want to find um you know fulfillment is being happy in yourself to understand the discord to still be okay with it and in that way that will probably draw the happiness you know the, the discord will disappear 
okay because once you're happy people will come towards you okay um, again the job area the lifestyle area you know what would make you happy you know what what would re I want you to really really think about this now uh, because you've got time this is what this time is this middle of the night period you know where you can just sort of think so once you take control you can progress forwards and things can start happening and i feel it will today there is money to be had today little windfalls here and there and you know through all this sort of weird darkness and this is what i've discovered in the last few days it's like some all of a sudden i've got this weird like little things have come to me like people have sent messages or said things to me that have just lifted me back out again and to remind me that it is there and that it, i am being listened to um you know so where i started off yesterday morning sort of screaming at the universe like i'm sure a lot of you you know do going come on i've had enough now and i really felt really edgy yesterday morning I was like, oh i just felt irritated um and I thought, right, come on, you know, and I started doing this painting, which I spoke to you about the other day, and something's gone wrong with it, okay? So it's this little bit like the lady that I put up the other day. It started off a real mess, and then I went back to it. And it's sort of same thing's happened. It's sort of taken on a life of its own, and now I've sort of scrubbed out the centre of it and need to redo it, because I've always, like, gone to it too much. So what I'm going to do is leave it for a few days and go back, because I think that... The subject as well is quite important and when it's done I think you'll understand um, and it feels like it's coming from within it's a journey that I have to take and often with the paintings that I do it is it's about me learning so with the lady with the butterflies it was about abundance and when I first started it it was interesting I, I wanted it so badly I was in that sort of sense of like come on I want things to flow and I wasn't a little bit I saw it and I was excited and I was told how to do it so I saw the picture but the face wasn't right and it was almost like I wasn't seeing the face I wasn't seeing things I couldn't understand what abundance meant if that makes sense so when I painted it on a picture I wasn't able to put it on the painting so this is something else that of which I've been asking for, I'm not gonna reveal right now, but, um, which you will understand when you see, um, and something that I need, and it's almost like that sense of, it's about to happen, and I could feel it, and I could see the picture, and again, it was like I just quite couldn't quite get it right. And when I finished it, and it is done, I think this is why I need to take the time out again, because that's what I did with the lady. I took the time out, the abundance lady. Um, I sort of dealt with it, um, and it must have been a god few weeks before I went back and then once I really went back to it I had a completely different I was in a better space to do it and I think now that if I go back to this one I'm not going to be in the right space um, so again I'm going to step away and it, it went when it's the right time and I think this is why I want to share it when I've done it because the whole story of it will be interesting because I've just sort of been enlightened while I'm talking to you is I feel that I'm almost creating my own destiny with the painting so um, the, again the subject is quite interesting so sorry Becky you can't see it yet um, <laughs> although I think you'll get this as well um, so let's see what happens so so just see the signs you know see the signs but you don't have to look for them they'll come to you um, if you've asked for things yesterday and today you will start seeing things start to materialize i feel today's a real turnaround for expansion and i'm seeing some really big inspiration and a sense of spending time with other people in a relaxed way as well finding rest with people if that makes sense um friends and you know there, there's i see a phone call coming today which is gonna for some of you that is going to help progression and give you back the control as well so again it's a little bit up and down here but there's definitely crossroads there's definitely new directions coming today and i do see a breakthrough for some of you um, through a time of stress and confusion um, which is great and and again more abundance coming through and a sense of more creativity as well but i feel the more creative you are with your approach the more you're gonna un you're gonna bring in and it's like just let go of it stop thinking about it and just get on with what you can do and do something you enjoy and trust that you can because you know if you're anything like myself i always get when i when i get stressed and when i know i've got to stop i start thinking about time spat it's like i've got to do it i've got to do it i've got to do it and everything starts piling up again and then i never get things done and i'll spend an hour questioning what i should do so now i've learned to sort of the moment i sense pick up on that energy which i had yesterday morning i just went right okay so what can you do 
that is going to be good so what i did is i went and cleaned because i felt like i needed to clean the kitchen and i really enjoyed cleaning the freezer and fridge and sorting out what i was gonna you know what i was gonna buy the shops and looking at some new recipes and um just spending some time with my animals and it was a really rainy day and it was just really nice you know and things still happened you know i didn't lose out so there you go um, and then I got some, I had a, some readings yesterday and, um, you know, got some lovely feedback and it sort of gave me my answer and my truth. So I'm hoping this helps you today. I haven't been just babbling on as usual. Well, I always babble on, don't I? Um, but, you know, logically, think about things logically, you know, it's like, what can I do? What, what can be done right now? Um, I'm not going to dwell on this. I'm going to actually take some time now to go a little bit deeper, but in control. You know, it's a little bit like doing it. Um, a meditation or doing some hypnotherapy you are the one in control in fact if you go have some healing you still control it you know you are you are you you're the person so it's time to take hold of your life and stick to your guns you know and again if you start dwelling about other people what they're doing what they said you know you're either over too tired and you need to take some time out or you need to readdress go back to yourself you know you're falling back into that thing okay so have a great day remember if you'd like a private reading just go to the website check me out guys and um oh it's it's coming up to halloween which is my favorite time and my birthday time soon and happy birthday to anyone who is a Scorpio, fellow Scorpio out there and enjoying this month to come is going to be a wowzer next month. So lots of love to you guys. Take care. Bye.